What's up everybody? So today's video is going to be basically a two day video. I got my test pipes in for my G35. So uh, we're basically just going to send it on the G35. Uh, ho hopefully the stock block can actually last long. We're going to be pro charging it with a Vortex V3 I think or V2 for a kit. So we're going to buy the kit. I order a bunch of stuff already, like return fuel lines, oil catch can, the air and fuel ratio gauge, boost gauge, everything that I need. It's gonna take a couple of months, by three months or so, but we're gonna just gonna to keep it around 450 and below until we buy the stage two uh, rebuild kit. We're gonna save for that, and then my bad, and then uh, add a little bit more boost. There's a guy on Instagram. Uh, he has the same car as me, but he's just on the pro charging. He's pushing 500 and 399 of torque. Honestly, uh, I wish these cars can actually make more torque, but whatever. But we're just going to do a couple of mods today. So I got my shift boot. I got to tighten this piece of shit. That's why I don't like the aftermarket uh, just to shift knobs. I don't know. I'm having trouble to keep it on. Not too sure what the fuck I'm doing wrong. But yeah, so gonna record that and then put put my oil catch can and then I'll pick up the video tomorrow in the morning when I go leave the car to go get the test pipes uh, I'm waiting on some other stuff like heat wrap so I can wrap my test pipes in so all right so I just finished uh, changing my shift boot and tightened up my shift knob shift boot it's gonna have to be changed again this piece of shit right here i guess i'm about to get another flimsy one but this uh i got this yesterday and it came off earlier so i kind of hate that i have to screw these on or maybe i'm not doing it right i'm not too sure but yeah anyways i'm gonna show you my old catch can this is a universal one probably mounted right well this one's a little bit thicker well, I'm about to figure out. If not, I'm about to do it all the way over there. Or right here, honestly. Somewhere around here. Should be good. So, with the kit, it comes with the brackets and clamps and stuff like that. Some cheap uh, holes right here, but I got some right here. So, I'm going to finish this up real quick. Alright, so I just came to the store to get some uh, brand new hoses. So, the hoses that... Yeah, it came with was trash and it kept kind of sucking it in. So hopefully I put it in right. I hate the ones that don't have names on it. What's up everybody? So we're picking up the video. So today I got to go get my test pipes installed. Go return this piece of crap of uh, catch can. I don't know if some time I put it, I thought I was putting it wrong. But really, I don't know. It's like if something was letting air in. So... It was throwing engine lights and stuff like that so i just threw on the the factory pvc pcv uh hose and i order a new catch can new catch can for it so that's supposed to come in tomorrow and see if the other one works because i've used the other one before on my neon no issues this one just looks okay cool but anyway let's go get the test test pipes installed they didn't tell me what time but i was gonna come in at like nine but catch y'all later real quick uh i still haven't gotten a call back from the shop if they don't uh get me in today i might have to go to another shop but anyway just a few things they just came in through the mail got this for my my g35 even though it's not a nismo but still cool some new lug nuts the ones that were on it kind of trash. These feel pretty lightweight, like real fake. But we'll see. Some stuff to wrap in, uh, wrap my uh, test uh, test pipes in. My air and fuel ratio gauge. I might go into the AAM one, but let's try this one for right now. And my boost one, a boost gauge. So, that is all for right now. I'm going to have to go wrap these real quick. Got my, t got my test pipes in there. I done got two days ago. But, anyway, these are it. Uh, I'm still waiting. Don't pay attention to the background. Anyway, 
I'm washing my seats. Anyways, uh, so I got the one with the O2 sensors. Uh, where I can put my O2 sensors in. Uh, and also, the shop that's supposed to be installing them. We're supposed to install them since the morning, but they had a car that was there for a week, and then they told me they're going to get it done today. But if they don't, I'm not definitely going to ask for a discount or something because I made my appointment. So, anyway, so these are it. They were around like 80 bucks or so next thing i probably do is a uh, tomi y-pipe or something like that and uh, once the pro charger uh gets bolted on i have everything else my gauges and all that uh now i need uh either gtr injectors or a thousand cc's injectors with the e85 uh to and a bigger fuel pump probably go 450 fuel pump um, what else? I will probably add methanol, a little bit of shot of nitrous, just maybe, but definitely the Pro Charger and probably going to be the V2 Vortex or the V3 Vortex Pro Charger on it. Still looking for one, so definitely, but we decided to build it. Also, I'm going to link everything that I have for the G35 in the description. This the lug nuts, this, the gauges too. So this thing, all right, so I just got the car back, the shop did it for, but, I think I'm gonna need some resonators on this because this thing sounds like it sounds raspy. It sounds good right there. And then... it sounds like fucking ass. Just smoke. <laughs> Probably because of the sea film. I had threw in some sea foam earlier. This thing looks like it's fucked up, bro. <laughs> These niggas didn't weld it back on. This shit came off. I'm about to take the pipe back.